All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to connect your uh, Smarter Contact account uh, to any CRM that is listed on uh, Zapier. So uh, it's very easy. It's very easy to set up. And uh, within Smarter Contact, we currently have an API integration for Podio. So we custom built that. But if you have um, another CRM, there's so many out there that you want to connect you can easily zap your data, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, you're gonna go into this API screen. So in the settings menu, click API, and you're gonna create a new uh, link, right? Uh, next, you're gonna click this button here, add Zapier API, which is gonna redirect you to our, uh, our setup and launch page. Here, you're gonna connect Smarter Contact with uh, any app that you want. There's so many. I mean, you can send something to you know Google Sheets, Google Calendar, um, Facebook. I mean, anything that has any kind of CRM, you can send it to you know uh, PipeDrive CRM, Active Campaign, Zoho. Any the list goes on and on. So let's say for example, you're sending it to Podio as an example, right? Let's say you want to use Podio. You're gonna click the app and. Boom, so select the trigger, and then you're gonna click here that it's gonna export from Smarter Contact as the trigger, and selecting an action create item. Now the integration is being tested. And here it's gonna basically search for your account. So I'm already logged in, but um, here at this step, it's gonna ask you to log into your account of any software you have. So whatever software you're you're setting up, now you'll be able to log in right here and hit continue. Here you're gonna name the zap. So uh, SC test zap one. Okay, so now it's gonna test sending out the information, uh, uploading it to Uploading it to Zapier here. I'm gonna create item. Okay, um, so now it's found the account and now it's pulling up Podio account. So now it's selecting the account and now we're going within the software. That it's gonna ask, hey, where within the software do you want me to place this data? So this is setting it up. And you know it's not account specific. Every every account is set up this way, where basically it's going to ask where in the directory of your application are you asking me to send this information. So here within this specific application, we're going to select the workspace and folder area that we want to use. And uh, we'll pick this app here. Okay, so now this is the fun part. This is where we pick the information we want to send out. So let's say we want to send out uh, the information, first name, um, like, so for the name field within this field, within incoming requests is the name of the app or the, the area we're sending, it has these preset fields. Now we have to just tag it and name it, right? So for name, we could use first name, we could use last name, yeah, what I would recommend is using first name and last name because it's, it's saying full name. So if your name is John Smith, you'd want to have this whole thing here. Um, and also, if you want proper syntaxing and spacing, if you want a space in between, you would just put here first name and last name with a space in between. That way it comes out in the correct format. Really, really important um, if, if you do want that formatting set up. Um, phone, so you just select the phone value, email address, email, and you can actually search here, which might be easier. Um, all types of different fields, address, property address, and you can do full property address or just basic address. So there's a difference between full property is gonna be including city, state, and zip, and then property address is just gonna be the first part of it. Um, text, you can say, you know, this is just like your message history contents. 
But you can say like, you can basically export out everything that you and the contact talked about. And, you know, it goes on and on. There's just all types of different fields, notes. Okay. And there you have it. So now that you've selected the fields, you're going to test it. And turn on the zap. All right. So you should get this notification that your zap is on. Um, now it's it's fully on, it's ready to go, and the zap is, is now live. So within Smarter Contact, um, now that you're in this area here, uh, you should confirm within the API screen. So this is the zap, the zap we just set up, and it's live. That, that means this is a live zap that is sending out leads, but only when you trigger it, right? So for example, Let's say you have a, um, a lead here. Uh -huh. So you have a lead here. Here you've got this Zapier um, uh, icon. All you're going to need to do is click here, and boom, it's successfully sent to Zapier. So with one push, it should send it and there we go uh, now the lead is here you can see that it is live it's exported all the correct data in the correct format and working beautifully just like we asked so it shows you the test it shows you the conversation so here's the conversation with the contact um, everything that we talked about so um, perfectly sent. So this can be used for any application. You know, this is what's cool is, you know, you're not limited to just one thing. You can, um, let's say you have a hot lead, you, you can have it sent to Google Calendar, right? Uh, if you have Google Sheets, you can set it up with anything that's listed. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of app uh, apps on Zapier. So you can get really creative. This is just one example. But most CRMs are on there. Uh, if you're using a list stacker uh, like REI Sift or something along those lines, that will also be available. Uh, so it's a great way to export your data uh, and have it available. So for a more in-depth, if, if you're struggling, you can't figure it out, simply uh, reach out to our support team here in the bottom right, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.